I got something out of uh, China here, straight out of China. That's a mess of a cart. China. China was trying to sell me, uh, and I was afraid to spend the money. A crap ton of carburetors for snow blowers at one point. And the reason I was afraid to spend the money was because I was afraid they would never show up. Now, I might not be the brightest man, but where the hell else does that take that? hardest box I've ever tried to get into. One handed that is. Now, I guess a smarter man would have realized that it was probably taped on the side but it looked like it was all one piece. Oh well. Oh really. So we got us a Chinese OEM Briggs and Stratton knockoff. Whoa stuff's falling out. What's falling out? Yeah, that was a great thing to hit my foot. I don't think I probably need that anyway. It's anyway, not anyways. And we even got a, a foamy piece. So we'll throw some foamy in there. Got some gaskets and some filters. This is a nice piece. So I uh, have a needle seat. And a snapper, oh, it's bubbles. And a snapper uh, mower out back that I uh, picked up for my favorite price of free. So the problem I was having with that carburetor, which wasn't a terrible situation, but the crank is filling up with gasoline. So. I plan to go ahead and pull that carburetor off, utilize this guy as a replacement, fix that carburetor up as an OEM carburetor, and sell it. Uh, this Chinese hunk of poop was uh, 30 bucks. So an OEM carburetor like this is not much different and we will compare those two differences once I pull the other carburetor off. So one more project before the end of the evening here. I bought a Chinese knockoff carburetor. Uh, I forget what the Briggs and Stratton model number is. Off the top of my uh, noggin here but it did come with a uh, Fuel filter, or an, I should say, an air filter. Uh, you know, made by again by some some little Chinese kid underneath the sewing machine somewhere. Uh, it, it is pretty much identical, even in the adjustments. And the issue that we're having with, and we'll rebuild this one. There's a rebuild kit out for this. Uh, and actually, let's see, maybe I can tell you. This was, I think, the auto auto choke one, right? Uh, I don't see a model number stamped on this. Yep, but it does want to keep leaking out. Uh, it does say 4A at the top, but, I mean, everything down to the plug. Uh, identical. Uh... Let's, uh, we'll pause this, we'll pull the inside apart just real quick and uh, take a gander. I can't imagine that's going to be any different. So other than the uh, usual crap, uh, the gasket seems pretty crappy, I won't lie. The uh, whole upper side of that seems rather shallow. Uh, you get a plastic float compared to a brass float. Uh, I imagine the needles are probably very similar 
and size and diameter. I really don't have, sorry, I know you can't see in that one, can you? Uh, I don't really have a way to measure that. And I guess I could put a needle or a drill bit in there. Oh, my ear is ringing hard. Someone must be talking some major crap on me. Must be the little Briggs and Stratton people or the uh, Chinese people. One thing that uh, was rather upsetting to me on the uh, on the snapper that's out there, someone really bent up the. Uh, someone really bent up the. Yeah, you know what you're trying to say. The uh, governor. Or the throttle linkage, I should say, and they also bent up the uh, the fly wire on that as well. Underneath, it, let's just take a look and see. Usually, whoop, they reverse these around. Actually, the rubber tip is in the same place. So it is an identical, it looks like, uh, float needle, and uh, unfortunately. That is the suspected area right there. Uh, do notice, is there something else there too? There is a, there is a vent hole maybe to the uh, side of that uh, oh, it's just a plug. It's a plug. Where this one does not have a plug and is filled in. Yeah, crappy pot mold, whatever. I mean, that'll do the job.